Okay. By the way, I'm getting on the roll today of uploading literally, literally, uh, my sessions of this. Yeah, we not want you to drown. No, of course not. There was a spark of displeasure in Risco's eyes, but she was smiling nevertheless. I never thought the day would come that I could joke around with Risco like this. It was almost like a dream. Ah, the smile. The Red Rose Society gets serious. I can't stop the smiles! <laughs> what the hell? Speaking of which, there's a lot of bun right now! <laughs> the night that the new school term began, Konomi gained a Risco's room. Again, how many people do you know who has that green of hair and is that small? Oh, my eyes, itchy. That was the point of the day until a certain someone misinterpreted the whole situation. I can't hold it in the smiles. Let's go. Let's surprise she hadn't intended that at all. Even though I played this game many times before, I love this game. It's putting smiles on my face. It's so good. I wish there was a manga for this too. Like, you know, like, one of those multiple chapter mangas, like, okay, here's the main plot for the first volume, but there have other volumes, but with different storylines. You can read that volume for that storyline, with that volume, with that story. I think that would be interesting. <laughs> hmm. 
This time, Risco realized it too. She pressed her hands to her cheeks in embarrassment. yourself into this. No, it is not. You, I would never, no, no. <laughs> oh, I need something to keep me it's give me a straight face. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> Oh, now you're starting to notice? She goes her head silently. The idea of like you, she thought it was thought of it as a mold that forced people into certain shapes. Risco had lived her entire life conscious of that mold. You, she could have talked to me about it, saying, "Okay, how about this? We can, we can stay in the relationship, but you keep on doing your best, and I keep on doing mine. Then we'll support each other off of that. Even though it involves me le leaving, it shouldn't mean that you shouldn't do what you're supposed to do and what I need to do. Like." Let's go. Sat down on her bed, buried her face in her hands. Kenobi. Surprised, Kenobi started to peer into her face, but it was obvious what was wrong. She was right. Stop it. And any time she thought about her position, the pain became so great that she couldn't bear it. The idea of just abandoning the Rosa society simply didn't occur to her. Oh, 
Oh boy, Dragon Lady. And one of the many things that I hated about this woman is that she forces her daughter into an arranged marriage. That is a spoiler. A bit. That's a bit of a spoiler. I'm not going to go into the exact details. Actually, I should go into a little bit of detail. She's forced arranging her daughter's marriage for money. Even worse. I find that type of people scum in their own way. You don't force someone to marry just for money. I say that's bad parenting in my opinion. I say their happiness should come first. Let them learn. Not force them into a situation where this, they can talk their way out of it. She had tried Right, hard not to think about something even more important than her position at school. It was about her life. About living her life like herself. What was it really like? Clearly there isn't something right, and maybe you should think for a moment. Think. It's probably a bad idea. Do not go with it if it's hurting your child. Why the heck would you still push it? The second term had begun. Begun. I haven't seen Risco since the night at the summer festival. Even if we did did all live under the same roof, we still had private rooms. We weren't like to run into each other unless you had business with them. But once school started, that would all change. We get to see each other and talk to each other constantly. Yeah, I can't wait. I had never practically disliked school, but I had never looked forward to the start of new terms like this. Ayaka. Well, now that I think about it, it is pretty weird. Why is the school dining hall so deserted? I see. Aika spoke up as we arrived at our table. Um, I guess I could tell you, Aika. I lowered my voice a little. I was going to eat with Fresco, but I didn't see her here. Aika looked around the dining hall, too. Ah. Uh, uh, no, don't ask Konomi. Uh, no, I guess it's fine. It's not like we're fighting exactly. It would be weird to avoid her forever. So we picked up our trays, walked over to where Konomi was sitting. Hi there. I was expecting her to glare at me, but I didn't. But then she. But she didn't. I felt relieved. See, I guess I won't see her today then. Too bad. Oh, um, let's talk about I side. Wanna come, Konomi? We took our meals out to the Rose Garden. I wasn't expecting the best manner, but no one scolded us for it. I think so, at the very least. I'm really glad I invited her. Now 
let's keep our vo voices down. No, me had spit it out. Hold up. Hey, my neck, can you turn it down a little bit? Just a little. Just a little. All I'm asking is a little. And also, turn the light on. It'll be bad for your eyes if you keep it dark. Are you seeing your room? Mine is a different exception. I'm up close to something that has bright light. Nomi bowed her head low. She seemed to like doing that. I found myself holding my breath. Oh, uh, that's that as far as I went, I didn't ask her either. Uh, what is it? I got expressed some suddenly became serious, it worried me. We're a world society. Why can't she just turn leadership over to Mizuki? She had a point. Which meant that Red Rose Society was playing her between a rock and a hard place. Nomi was a pass as passionate as ever. She has said something like that during the festival, too.
Maybe you should have focused on that. <laughs> Maybe you should have focused on that before you randomly followed and jumped in. Thanks. Right. I felt the same way. At the class, we met up in Maria Hall for the first time in a while. What happens in second term? I see. Right. As she spoke, Rice pulled the report from her bag. Peered down at the report curiously, I couldn't deny that my own interest in gender integration had increased as well. Saying goodbye to Risco next year would be really sad. Hey, at least it was better from my first result. Rice sighed and slumped over her shoulders. Okay, going to say right now, please ignore the sound coming from over there. Uh, yeah. I nodded. Part of me wanted Risco to win, but of course I couldn't let that happen. It seemed that it was... Caught between a rock and a hard place as well. Cool, huh? I hope she's okay. She says she was bad with crowds. Maybe the festival just exhausted her. I did keep her out pretty late that night. Wanted to go see how she was doing, but I wasn't sure how it would come off if I went to her room. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I barely had time to think before the word slipped from my mouth. Rice seemed surprised by the way I jumped on the idea. No, of course not. I got no ulterior motives. Then 
力を出さないということがあらずいぶんな言い草じゃないまいいですけれど回答もそのつもりなの律子ですかまだ話し合っていないですけど<笑>I wasn't sure about Rusko, but Mitsuki certainly seemed to have let her guard down. That might be good for the White Lily Society, or so it seemed to me. <laughs> oh, really? We entered the room with Ayaka leading the way. The moment I entered, I was overwhelmed by a nostalgic sensation, reminding me of my first day at Vaznes. The sensation was that wonderful smell. <laughs> It was the same way in the classroom whenever girls gathered, a sweet fragrance always seemed to follow. Not that I had a fetish for that kind of thing or anything. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I can't help the smile. We we're all used to that kind of thing from Mike, so nobody really paid it any mind. Konomi knelt down in front of Risco. Risco sat down on the bed. Konomi was seriously worried about her while I was just excited over being in her room. I felt a little bad. Apparently, Konomi and I weren't so different. Wow, you really do have a lot of stuffed animals. I think I mentioned that before. Yeah, let's see. There's a bunny. I can't tell if that cat thing is a stuffed animal or a statue. Um, you're right, I remember that. I'm guessing that white thing at the bottom on that, like, stool is a dog, bear, duck. Pig, another dog. One stuffed animal was conspicuously laid out, or perhaps I should say housed, on the corner of her desk. Perhaps it was the famous Lada Bun. And I feel vibration again from my voice. And even beside him, or perhaps her, the room was full of stuffed animals of all shapes and sizes. Thought she might be just. Ha might have just been humoring me about the prize I won her at the rifle range, but she really seemed to love them. I don't know. I think it's a cute hobby for a girl to have. It wasn't that kind of hobby I expected from a girl with the nickname Philippine, and I meant that in a good way. Uh, really? I was just saying what I really felt. Thought. Um. Can we change the subject, please? Move my gaze from the stuffed animal to the dresser, which I expected for a, a girl or not was. Graciously decorated. Rooms may have been the same on the basic level, but they were very different in practice. 
Oh, I forgot to go to the next part. I bad. <laughs>